Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise, and today I am going to show you guys I'm making these little boxes into little cupcake boxes for Stella and her little neighbor friend's birthday party. So we're going to be putting the cupcakes in individual packaging so that everybody's not breathing all over the cupcakes when they're sitting out. So we're having an outside party just on our street, and it's going to just be cupcakes, some individually packaged snacks, and the kids can run around and play. And that's pretty much it. We're going super simple, but I wanted the cupcakes separated so that the kiddos are not breathing all over the cupcakes when they're going and picking out their cupcakes. They can just pick whatever box they want and it's individual. So that's what the boxes look like. I did get a pack of 50 boxes and so they look like this. I wanted to decorate them just a little bit. I just made the onesies, which I did in the last video. It's princess themed. You can see there's the shirt for the other little girl and there's one for Stella who's turning one. So I want to, I think, cut out crowns to go on the front of these. That's what I'm thinking, or a little tag. I think the tag would get in the way of the kids being able to rip into the package because they just have to, all right, let me set these shirts down. They just have to open it up to get to their cupcake. And I think if I put a tag over the string, that's gonna cause problems with some of the kiddos because they're younger, they can't untie things probably the best. So I didn't want to like add bows or anything, waste a lot of ribbon for something that's just gonna be tossed out, but I totally wanna do some cardstock, maybe like a crown down here. I don't know. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put anything, but I wanted to have some sort of cute little decoration. So I'm going to be cutting out the same crown design that I picked out. It's from the Silhouette Design store, and I'm just going to I think measure this so that they are just on the front here. So uh, three and a half inches as the maximum. So I thought maybe 3.25 with an outline. So it could be like two shades of pink and then just cut out a bunch of them, stick them to the fronts of these and then the cupcakes are ready to go. And these boxes are super cute. I will link to them from Amazon. They're just a pack that I found that had enough in the pack. We're getting plenty of cupcakes so that people can take cupcakes home. People can have more than one. And it's really a cool setup because they can bump their cupcake out. I was wondering, honestly, like, okay, the cupcakes are super cute in the box, but how do you get it out without getting like icing all over your hands? Well, there you go. You <laughs> get it out with the little holder thing and then slide it back down. So I think they're super cute. I would definitely repurchase these. I think they're a great option, especially when everybody's trying to social distance, but you still want to celebrate so we're outside and we don't have to worry about much contamination with that. So I wanted to show you the box itself because I thought it was super cute. They do fold up really easily. I'll show you the, the bottom just so you get a feel for how it is. There's a ribbon around it. So it's just like any of your fold things. So you fold in the side with the big pieces, the other two sides and the littlest piece holds everything together. And then I just bump it up like that. So that's the bottom. And then the top folds in like I already showed you. And they're just super cute, so I'm so excited to be putting these together and making them a little bit cutesy for the party. Not that many people will care, but I personally care. And then the last thing I'm gonna be doing, I won't show this on video because I already have a video tutorial. I'm gonna be making a tutu for Stella to go with her little outfit. The big girl already has a tutu. So I've got the pink ribbon to go with it. I just tied a little knot. That's gonna be one side and then tying a bow and she is gonna have a smash cake a different day. So we will use the tutu for that as well. So super excited about that. And so I'm going to go ahead and get cutting with the cameo and just cutting out the designs at 3.25 with an offset, I think, and seeing how it looks with two shades of pink. And we'll see how it goes. So I'm working on getting my paper planned in and I will save this, you'll see right there, I'll save this edited version. So this is Stampin' Up! cardstock. It's a little bit thick and the plain cardstock version on there did not work. So the first time it didn't even cut through. It just kind of like scored the paper. The second time it left a little bit of shreddy bits. You can see like pulling it apart. Hopefully it will focus. You can see like shreddy bits on there. 
that's how you know you need it a little tiny bit deeper. So I ended up changing the force just slightly, just a couple of notches, and then I got nice clean cuts the third try. So now I'm gonna save my stuff as my edited cardstock version for my Stampin' Up! cardstock, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting a bunch. You the three different functions that I used to make my project. I ended up using a couple of things. I had to look up one of them because I forgot how to do it. So I wanted to go ahead and include this in the video to make sure that you guys could also do the same thing. So first things first, I made my project the same size. So you can see I have the eight and a half by 11 workspace here. It kind of grays out the rest of your mat. So I did go under this over here uh, page setup, and then you can choose what size here on the drop down menu. I just chose letter, which is eight and a half by 11. That's what most of my cardstock is. So it's really nice to have that already added. And you need to make sure that you have the right size added for this fill page feature that I'm going to be using. So once we have that, I went over to the store and actually found the tiara that I was using, and it is called Heart Crown. You can see it right here Heart Crown. We want that on our page. And I'm not using the exact size. I had to go back and re-record this, but I wanted it to be like 3.25 wide. So I'm just kind of making it close enough to 3.25. And then I need to make an offset. So I have one page set up. Oh, I'm already selected. I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to select it. You have one page set up with just the crowns, and then I'm going to have an additional page set up with an offset. So I've got my shape here, and then I'm going to go to the, where is it? Up here this little shape, it just has an outline and that helps you make an offset. So you have an offset right there and you can change the distance of it. You can make it a really tight offset or a very, very thick offset, no matter, um, depends on whatever you want. You can just kind of adjust it to see what you want. And then I say apply. And then I've got two pieces here. The offset is one piece. You can see it cuts the heart offset as well. And then here's my original shape. So I don't need the original. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then this one, I don't want the little heart cut out. So for this shape, you need to right click and click this one that says release compound path. And that will separate your lines. So I just go ahead and delete that heart. And then I'm just left with the offset. And now I'm going to fill the pages with both of these so that I can just use a full sheet of cardstock the best I can. It's much easier than copying and pasting and trying to make them fit on your own. This saves me so much time sometimes. So you go over to this one that looks kind of like a, almost like a butterfly almost. It's got a weird star shape to it. And then you can duplicate. So you can duplicate side to side, up and down. You can do a whole row of the shapes or you can do simply fill page. So this is where it comes in handy to set up your page the same size as your cardstock. So you can just hit fill page and it makes the whole page full of your shape. And I would do the same thing for the offset. So we've got my offset. I'm going to hit fill page and then I can cut a full page out. I don't have as much waste that way and I'm ready to cut. So I just wanted to show you guys those tools because they're so helpful when you're making a lot of the same thing. It comes in handy to make it fill the page like this. So then all you have to do is send it to your cameo and cut it out. And this is what I've got. I went ahead and cut all these out. I did not pull out all of the hearts. You can see some of them did end up getting fuzzy near the end. One of my cutting mats is not very sticky. So I think that one also had trouble with um, holding the paper on. So I've got extra hearts in here. I'll save all those little hearts for other projects or for Libby to have. And then see if I can line it back up. I need both hands. There is what they're gonna look like. They're just gonna be on the front of the boxes. So I think they are gonna be really cute. I was gonna make cupcake toppers, but I did not think anybody wanted my hands and stuff inside their cupcakes that much to stick in cupcake toppers. So this is gonna go on the outside of the box so that there is very minimal cupcake movage. We're gonna have socially distanced cupcakes. <laughs> so I think this will work better, just putting it on the outside of the boxes. So let's see, I've got my game here I'm playing. I can stick them right on the outside might be cute having them like stick up past the edge. So it's like a crown on the box. I'll play around with placement. But I just wanted to make sure that they fit nicely on the cupcake box. There's not as much light over here, but there you go. There's the whole 
set up. And then the boxes. All right, here's what I decided on. I did end up putting their names on them and I alternated. Some of them say Stella Bella, some of them say Bella Stella because their names are super cute and they rhyme and I just thought it was super cute to put them on there like little crowns. So that's what the boxes are gonna look like. They have the little liner on the inside. This one doesn't have it yet. I just put them on there to show the other mom and to show you guys on this video. So I've got a bunch of these to add to the boxes. It's gonna be super cute for their little birthday stuff. So we've got that, we've got the matching t-shirts from the previous video I'll link to. We've got three. Oh, it sparkles so good with the lights on. And one, look at that, sparkle. And they're gonna be wearing tutus and it's gonna be princess-tastic. So I hope you guys liked this quick little tutorial. I ended up stamping with, let me get it out. I ended up stamping this actually with this stamp set, Milo's ABCs from Lawn Fawn. It's one I got from my bestie. You can see it stained them. I was stamping it so many times it did pick up the ink. But they're really cute and they're really easy to line up on the block. And I love stamp sets when they include multiple letters so you can actually stamp a whole word instead of individually stamping the letters because each name has two L's. So that would have been annoying to have to stamp them like that. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. All right, I'm watching Triple D on Hulu and assembling boxes. I'm going to be putting all of these on and I'm gonna leave them open like this on the side because I don't want to close them and have to open them again and then close them again. So I haven't put the inserts in. I'm just sticking the tiara on and actually assembling the boxes. So I've got a wall of boxes. Here is the progress. I've got the boxes assembled, the little things on the front, and I also took out the little die cut slit pieces. They just had to be popped out. So I did that for most of them. I forgot the first couple and then I did that for the remaining ones. And here is a look at the finished product. I saved two cupcakes, set them aside for the girls so that we can just stick candles in those for the girls. If we don't open them, I'll just have them set inside so that nobody can get those ones. And then here is a look at what we're dealing with. We've got Cupcake City there. I put them in these hampers so that they were easy to just grab the hampers and set them out on the tables. We're gonna have some folding tables out in the driveway, so. These are the ones that did not quite fit in the basket. So we've got those, we've got those. We've got cupcake mess everywhere, trimming mess everywhere. Libby does her schoolwork in here too. So schoolwork mess everywhere. Now I'm going to straighten all this up and then work on her little tutu. I didn't get to it last night because I forgot to measure her waist. And so I did that before she went down for the snap so that I can put the tool in between those two little spots. So there you go, cupcake crazies.